Right now, we have enough concept about Adobe XD. We know how the layers panel work. We know how the artboards work. What properties do we have for them? I think it's time to start designing with our designing tools. The first tool that we are going to use is called the text tool. It's located over there. And the shortcut to access it is the letter T here. I'm going to activate it. And then on my artboard, wherever I want to add a text, I just click and then I can add a text. Sign in. Good. When I'm done typing, I just have to click outside. Then that typing stops. Right now the text tool is still activated. So I'm going to grab my select tool and then move this one around here. 130 pixels from the top it's good before everything let me rename this artboard because i hate the name right now let's go with adobe xd 101 for example that's way better than what it was before so we have our text here we have to know that in adobe xd we have two kinds of text area text and point text this one is a point text and we use point text for some stuff like headings, names, and stuff like that. But we use area text for paragraphs, descriptions, and things like that. So right now we have a heading, we have a title here. So we decided to go with the point text. And you can say that it's a point text since here in our properties inspector, this one is highlighted. If it was this one, it would have been an area text. We'll talk about area text in the next video. For now, let's investigate what we have for our point text in our measurement properties. As you can see, we can't change the size of our elements this time from the measurement properties. And that makes sense since we have font size to do that. Then we have the placements of our elements within the artboard. I can play with them. Let's go with 120 for the height from the top. And then we can rotate our text. I'm just selecting this placeholder and then using up and down arrow keys. Let's go with the default. We can flip our text horizontally and vertically. So there we have it. The most important properties for the text is of course the text properties that we have here and with it we can change the font with this guy for example let's select this one and when it's selected with up or down arrow keys we can also explore from the fonts we have the option to change the size of our font let's go with something like 30 pixels I think that's fine and we can change the font weight here we have bold it's too much I'm using the up arrow key since font weight is selected semi bold I think it's better here we have the character spacing as you can see we can play with that I selected the placeholder and I'm holding shift down and using up or down arrow keys and as you can see it goes up by 10 this time if I let go of shift it goes down or up one by one holding shift goes up or down by 10 for this design let's have it to minus 20 here is the line spacing and the paragraph spacing they act the same in the point text but we'll talk about them in a little bit here we have the alignments for our text these guys are very important make sure to align your text always because when you want to position it inside of your artboard they matter for now i want it to be aligned to center it didn't make any difference right now but trust me it makes difference when you are working with it then we have this feature here. We can have the text in uppercase, lowercase, or like title. So let's go with this one. We have these two guys. If we are designing for mathematics stuff, then we have the underline option. 
and it's a beautiful line right over there as you can see it doesn't cut off the G here and that's just beautiful and then we have a strike through which will come in handy especially when you are designing to-do list application or websites so I'm going to remove it for now and that was the text properties all right, so let's talk a little bit about line spacing and paragraph spacing here in the point text. I have a text here and it's ready. It's a dialogue from my favorite TV show, The Office. I'm going to grab the text tool here and then I'm going to click on the source board and as we can see on my text properties the properties that I've used for the sign in art board are applied here as well so that's a thing to have in mind as you can see right now this text is aligned center and when I type it just works like that we can align it to the left and then start typing right now it's fixed so that was why i told you guys that it's very important to align your text notice here i'm going to press enter in order to start a new line here So then again, it's very important how I'm creating these lines here. I'm pressing enter each time to create a new line. And when that new line is created, it starts with the uppercase like it's a new sentence for itself. So just have that in mind. going to expand the window let's play with the line spacing and paragraph spacing here if I increase the line spacing as you can see we have more space between our lines but when we do the same with the paragraph spacing we have the same result there are two different concepts but in the point stakes they just work like each other there is no difference between them xt treats them the same the reason is every time we wanted to create a new line we just pressed enter and we do that same exact thing for creating paragraphs so xt treats them just the same and as i told you point text is better for titles buttons names and things like that not a conversation not a paragraph not a description or anything like that then again we have the alignment here you saw what happened when it was aligned to center and I started typing. So make sure to check your alignments when you are typing with text tool. Let's talk about appearance properties. I'm going to place this one here I'm going to run 20 pixels from the top and let's talk about the appearance menu first we have opacity if we turn it down a text or element would be faded but we don't want it for this case so let's go with 100 then we have the fill option you know what it does click on the rectangle and then this window would pop up change the color however you want for now let's go with white 
this guy here is new border so let's play with it if i check this box as you can see a border would appear around my text then again i can change the color of my border and something cool here i can even remove the fill and have that border this six doesn't have any fill right now you can see through it it's, it's cool sometimes you can use this kind of design in your projects we can increase or decrease the size of our border here we can add dash to it or define gap we'll talk about those guys later for now let's go with the fill and remove the border we can have a shadow for our elements i'm going to check this box and as you can see we have x and y positioning of our shadow then we have the blur you can play with that right now it looks like a 3d text here i think it's cool let's skip it then we have the option to background blur and object blur we'll talk about these guys later so just leave them for now that was it about the text tool let's add this password here as well i use the shortcut t right now i click here change the font way to normal we have normal medium maybe or regular let's go with medium i'm going to place it in the middle it's aligned center it's good and as you can see it's a little bit gray here for the color we can either change the color from the color picker or we can just turn down the opacity to have that gray color design there let's go with 65 that's perfect let's keep it i'm going to move this one just select it and move it to the pasteboard and that's good our artboard looks good we have two takes they look good i'm going to just increase a little bit size here to let's go with 37 then reposition it awesome everything is fine and in its right place so that was the point text you are going to use it a lot buttons headings navigation names and stuff like that let's learn area text and see what we can do with that one in the next video that was it about the point text but we are not done with the text tool in the next video we are going to learn how to add area text to our design and what we can do with it make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to catch up with the course Thank you.